So welcome back again to the second part of this video on science, on the digestive system. Um, I was just telling you that the lady from, um, the lady who narrates the video, she's probably Hindi, and that's why she said muscular instead of muscular. And that's why she says intestine instead of intestine. But it's basically the same. It's just a pronunciation change from, uh, from a region. So, uh, right now we're going to work in our book, okay? Um, we're going to work in our book and as usual, I want you to work on the date. Okay, we're going to work on page 14 and that's going to lead us to write the date on this heading, okay? This heading is going to be with the date. Print this date, Monday, April 27, 2020. Uh, friendly reminder, capitalize day, date and month, use the superscript to match 27, use a comma, a comma here, and a period here, here. And uh, let's continue. Okay, right now we're going to use our CD. You probably know there's a CD in the back of your book. Where's my CD? Oh, it's in my computer. Don't worry. Um, so that CD has some audio tracks that aren't like, um, like the reading of the book. Okay, right now we're using that. And we're gonna work on this exercise. We're gonna skip a step in the one of reading complete, number six says, now listen and check your answers to activity five, but we're gonna do it all at, all at a time, okay? So let's listen to that track. Okay, um, calm down, I'll be right back to you. Intestines. The small intestine is about 6 meters long and is about 2.5 to 3 centimeters in diameter. It is between the stomach and the large intestine. Food from the stomach enters the small intestine as a semi-liquid. In the small intestine, chemical digestion happens and this is where the body absorbs most nutrients. The walls of the small intestine have many villi, small finger-like projections that help with the absorption of nutrients. The liquefied food moves through the small intestine by contractions of muscles in a process called peristalsis. The large intestine connects the small intestine to the rectum. The large intestine is about 1 to 1.5 meters long. The large intestine absorbs water and salt and changes food from a liquid form into a solid form called feces. The feces moves through the large intestine by peristalsis. At the end of the large intestine is the rectum, which is where the feces wait until we go to the bathroom. The feces leave our rectum through the anus. Okay. All right, if you were interested in listening to that track again, uh, play the track number three in your CD. Okay, and that's all you would need. It's the same text as you read on page 14. Now let's check our answers because we were trying to come up with the answers. We saw them displayed. So let's, and let's recap them. The answers on your book are meant to be these. We already have number one, which is six. So we need number two through number seven. So here it goes. Number two, stomach. Uh, try to write in cursive, handwriting please. Number three, nutrients. Number four, intestine. Number five, meters. Number six, large. And number seven, bathroom. And of course, that'll be part of the text right over here in the blanks. You feel them, okay? Okay, with that said, you can stop the video and write that down and double check. If not, let's continue. Let's move on and let's work on the exercise number seven. This one. This one over here. Okay, right here you have the possible answers that are going to be in this Venn diagram. We're going to have the characteristics of the large intestine and the characteristics of the small intestine. 
and characteristics shared by both here in the middle, all mixed. So, thesis over here. I'm going to cross out all my answers once I use them. So, thesis. Thesis is part of what intestine? The small intestine or the large intestine? You know, the, the poop. Okay, it's part of the large intestine. Water and salt. What is the one that includes water and salt? And we know water and salt will be in the large intestine too. What is the one in charge of the absorption of the nutrients to go to your blood? Mm, it's going to be the small intestine. What is the one where the food is like a semi-liquid, not solid, a semi-liquid? Remember that? It's a small intestine. What is the one that has a lot of bile or villi? It's the small intestine. What is the one that is 1 to 1.5 meters long? Hmm, that's, very, that's, that's not too long, okay? Don't get confused. Did you pick the large intestine? Then you're right. And what is the one that makes peristalsis? It's both. It's the small intestine and the large intestine. Peristalsis means that they work, they move. They move to make the food move, okay, move out of the body. So both intestines make peristalsis. That's why sometimes your stomach sounds like it's the peristalsis in your intestines most of the time. Okay, so your doctor also checks that when you're sick, when you have um, diarrhea or some infection in your digestive system. So um, let's leave this behind and um, let's um, talk about the assignment today. Your homework is not really too much work because you're already finished. So all I need is a photo of your work on page 14 beneath and send it to me on whatsapp before 4 p.m with that said i believe i'm really glad we finished so thanks for your kind attention kids and here a gift from me to you it's a beautiful decorative customized cake of spongebob square pants and friends okay so that's from me to you with that said bye bye enjoy the rest of your day